morning, ladies and gents. So, we're here early Monday morning on Memorial Day, getting ready to head out over to Texas to deliver our minty fresh Ram Dooley long bed, along with $50,000 uh, that Jill Williams had won. So, we're loading it up here. We've got the uh, GMC over here. It's a little early. We got up at, uh, we got here at like 6.30 in the morning. And now we're just gonna get everything loaded up and make it a 12 hour journey over to Cross Plains, Texas with the crew and get ready to go. So, join us on this trip. We're gonna make it fun. Sit in the truck for 12 hours, bullshit a little bit, get there, spend the night. Tomorrow we're gonna be delivering the truck and uh, heading back. So it's gonna be a quick little trip getting the truck over her and it's gonna be a good time you guys so everything has been checked out already so let's get to it yeah, that's a good morning workout right there I'll tell you that right now yeah and we're on the fuck there she is there she is a little longer than a few minutes later Perfect morning workout right there, bro. Yeah. Huh? Get the blood moving. Alright, it's time to pull her out and get her out of here, man. Off to Texas. What do you guys think? Is this truck gonna look good out over here in Texas? Ready. Ready to hang out all day? So we're halfway, we just got into Texas, so that means we're halfway there. Uh, we're about ready to go take a little bathroom break and keep on going. How's the trip so far? It's good. Yeah, you're It's good. It. It's good, look at this. We're in Texas, baby. We're in Texas, we're oh, we're getting looks trucks. everywhere we go. Everyone's looking up this truck. Hey, bro. Why is the truck not clean? How's your job? <laughs> we just got one job. Now just to clean the truck. Let's let's make it clean. Let's make it presentable for Jill and look at what you get. Bunch of dirt on it, man. <laughs> I blame David. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna get get in Texas or to our spot to, uh, by like six or seven o'clock today, which is really nice because that means we'll have a few more hours to relax, kind of chill out, get ready for the next day uh, to deliver the prize, but. We'll have to tomorrow morning basically uh, just clean this thing up a little bit, get all the dust off of it, wash it up. Curious to see what kind of town we're dealing with, you know, in Texas, because it sounds like it's a pretty small town, right? It sounds like it's going to be all in dirt. Means my truck's going to get dirty. You know? yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. So the closest, uh, the closest hotel was about 45 minutes away from her. So to me, that says that we're going to uh, BFE, you know, so. <laughs> This guy's over here taking a nap left and right. <laughs> my neck was falling. <laughs> I kept falling asleep and I kept going like this. I caught myself going like this. I look over and no one else paid attention. I was like, cool. I gotta kick your seat a little harder, dude. <laughs> um, uh, I kind of want to go get some more snacks, but I think I've had enough so far. <laughs> I've been eating way too much. I ate ice cream, two bags of chips, uh, a donut. What was that? Burrito? Oh yeah, burrito. I got munchies too, you know the munchies uh, trail mix? You have them in there? Yeah, I'm gonna have to eat Pretty, some. Yeah, I know you're gonna want those. <laughs> well, at the shop, this guy eats all my food every day. <laughs> he comes in there, 
<laughs> I, I, there's a snack drawer that he thinks uh, nobody knows about. <laughs> Everybody knows about it. <laughs> I blame Connor. <laughs> Just let me just post me on Instagram like that, huh? That's me all wrong. Damn, guys. They just do me dirty like that, you know? <laughs> do me dirty they like do that. me dirty. I, when I least expect it. <laughs> like, here's a camera in your face. Let me record you. <laughs> recording you on the other camera. Uh, it's, uh, it's rough. So, all right. We've got a delivery tomorrow with Jill. What do we know about her so far? Let's just break it down so we can know what kind of questions we should ask her. Like, what kind of questions would people want to know? What kind of questions should we ask her tomorrow? Are you really gonna keep the truck? Are you yeah, really gonna- that's the main question I think that's asked. a big question that we've had, right? The, the, what are you gonna do with the cash and are you gonna keep the truck? I would not blame her for not wanting to keep the truck, you know? Right. Like, what do you guys feel like? Yeah, I almost feel like it'd be better for her to sell the truck and get something instead of like, Using the money to modify that truck to be a handicapped truck, that almost feels like a waste of money. Where she can go sell that truck for a hundred grand and uh, get herself something else and then have a whole bunch of cash still left over. Whenever the winner gets a truck, they can do whatever they want with it. You know, that's one of the perks of winning is you're not really, yeah, you're winning a truck, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's just a truck that you have to keep. It's it's opportunities there. You can either use that truck for work, you can sell the truck, or you can keep it for a while, then sell it, you know, and it's worth quite a bit of money, um, especially in today's market. It's definitely over 100, 100 grand, that's for sure. And uh, goes goes a long way, along with the 50 grand that comes with that truck. That's a good chunk of, Good chunk of change uh, to change someone's life, I'll tell you that right now. So I'm excited to hear what that's gonna bring for her. She said uh, she's excited to get the money so she can buy herself a new phone. Oh, she's excited to get a new phone? A new phone. That's awesome, that's so, awesome. I don't know what she has because she was like, my phone works off Wi-Fi, I don't know if she has the service. Yeah, so like honestly, like we, I, we, have, we haven't even met her. Uh, like we haven't met Jill. Uh, David just had a few phone conversations announcing her as a winner, but uh, she seems like a deserving person. Like she, this could this could really quite literally change her life, um, which is huge. You know that's that's incredible. Um, mm -hmm. One thing we do is uh, we do advertise it, and we say that it's going to be fifty thousand dollars cash. You know, big chunk of money. We are going to be delivering fifty thousand dollars in cash to her which is quite a lot of money to deliver someone. Um, so how do you guys feel like, uh, cause I don't want to leave her alone with $50,000 and just right. be like, hey, here's $50,000 and then, you know, all the coworkers, everyone's gonna be there. You know, they're gonna know she has 50 grand on her. Um, I feel like we gotta <laughs> maybe follow her to the bank or something, right. like help her make sure she gets that money in her bank account and. You know, it's actually secure, you know. With her being uh, handicapped, you know, maybe, I don't know if that, and we don't know the extent of her being handicapped either, so. Right. I feel like if we could help All her I out. All I know is that um, her boss bought her her first wheelchair. Which is crazy. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna be there, right? She. Oh, it's oh, she. It's she, yep. okay. Yep. She's gonna be there. So, that's about all we know. Yeah, so we don't know much. Like, we don't know much. I was gonna say, it sounds like she's gonna have quite a few people over there then, huh? How many people has she told? How many people have you told? Probably the whole town, dude. What is it? I think the town is on population 900. 900? Um, El Paso, Google uh, El Paso, uh, El Paso, Texas population. El Paso sounds big though. Or El, no, it's uh, not El Paso. It was, it was the, cross plains. Cross, cross, cross plains. It was like 989 when I checked. Dude, so. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when there's like a small town like that, the worst travel is like uh, fast. Cross Plains population in 21 was 4,067. Okay. Okay. 4,000 people. That's not a lot. That's yeah. not a lot. Dude, I, I honestly have a feel like the whole town knows. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, it's a small town. The word travels there fast. And I mean, somebody from that little town just won at least $150,000 worth of a truck and cash combined. Like that's, that's newsworthy. And she entered twice throughout the giveaway, two shirts and as she total, uh, total spend was like eight, uh, 82 bucks or 85 bucks. Total spent 82 bucks and $82 is completely changing her life. A thousand X or is that 10,000 X? <laughs> return, <laughs> return on investment. <laughs> I mean, that's the type of return investment we want to hear, you know? Does she, uh, do we know much about her family or like she live alone? I kind of uh, looked at her Instagram. She doesn't post much. Um, she has a daughter or a granddaughter or something um, with her. Like she, I think the granddaughter or her daughter is around like the 12 to 15 age, yeah, somewhere sure. there, but okay. or a police officer. Oh, we got a cop. But then we ain't right speeding. There. Marshall. He's like, sir, you're actually going under the speed limit? <laughs> we it's don't Dustin, like that in it, Texas. It's Dustin's fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dustin's fault. Everything's Dustin's fault. <laughs> Everything's Dustin's fault. It's Dustin. Dude. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just getting blamed for everything. Uh, I don't have know. you accepted it yet? <laughs> <laughs> kind of have to, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be cool for her, though. Our trailer uh, blinkers don't work. We forgot. Oh, we, right. for, we forgot blinker fluid, <laughs> we so were... the blinkers don't work. <laughs> yeah, we, we we've stopped at a few gas stations to ask for blinker fluid, and uh, they said they just ran out as well. So it's uh, it's rough for us. Uh -huh. but maybe next gas station has it. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta stop every hour for some snacks. <laughs> so a lot of people were asking in, in our comment section. Why aren't you so excited on the live? Most of most of the time it's just because people are nervous. They don't believe it's real. These kind speechless. of things. Speechless, you know. Don't know how to react because this has never happened. So let's just ask her and get her reaction out of it. I'm sure she's excited for it. There's no doubt about it. But what are her emotions at that moment? That's a good question. These guys had to slow down to look at the truck. Was about to pass me, and then he slowed out. And then, Rick, can you share your story with us or something? Yeah, that's a that's you, a good one. That's can you share your story with us? You tell can us you share about your story you with death. us? Question mark. Yeah. Maybe we probably should start with that first and get a little bit about her before we start talking I, about I like everything that. else. I like that. I had uh -huh. the same thought. Uh, uh, get her story and stuff like that, and then we'll uh -huh. get into what she's gonna do yeah. with the truck and the giveaway. Right. What were your feelings? Yeah. Yeah. How is this gonna impact your life? Oh, that's a good one too. Mm -hmm. And I think that should be after we ask her, are you gonna keep or sell the truck? And yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, guys, come on, help us out of here. Give us some more questions that you guys want to know about the winners. Drop a comment below. <laughs> Drop a they're, comment. Gonna, they're gonna watch this after the video. Yeah. Later. Well, <laughs> like for the next leader. for well, the next winner, you know, we'll, we'll kind of know what kind of questions people have, you know, about the winner. Oh, like, dude, we what's their job? And, and tell it that hey, what do you guys want us to ask Jill? Oh, that's a good one. Boom. Boom. Wait, we get your instant. replies here. <laughs> Put your replies here. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs>
guys. So it's been a 12 hour trip so far. We're just pulling into our hotel. Um, starved myself all the way here. <laughs> I don't know right. about that one. <laughs> David would not let us eat, would not let us have lunch or anything or no breakfast. <laughs> Basically had to beg him for it. So he said he's going to take us out to dinner tonight. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> and maybe, maybe there's a couple of beds. <laughs> Maybe a couple beds. <laughs> I basically starved myself. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Not so bad. Not too much cleaning too. Just the beer, you know. Not too much. I mean, got a little bit. They probably say with the front end. That was probably like the that was probably a tunnel. That's probably a tunnel and all they were trying to fly through and they just got splattered. Right there. <laughs> Not bad, she's clean still. All in one shape. You guys, we did well, we did well. We got her to Texas. We're about 45 minutes from the destination. She's all in one piece. We're, uh, we've achieved greatness, I think. What do you think? <laughs> we has gotta get her cleaned up later tomorrow and uh, we'll be good. But for today, we gotta eat, man. We gotta eat. There's a nice steakhouse around here, huh? Oh, yeah. Right. I, I think Nick's chosen to move the steakhouse. I'm I down think Pete is off the end of the table now. It's all right. I know they got beer at steakhouses. <laughs> we got to try out Texas a little bit. Try, try out their meats. Throw up the whole way. David just watched movies the whole damn way. Yeah. Right. <laughs> This guy was taking the. How many nouns did you take? Did you did you lose track? Yeah, I took at least three, or four. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. We all know. Hi guys. Bad news here. There's two rooms. Unfortunately, the room you guys got has only one bed. How come it's always? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty. It's bad news. It's, it's booked. <laughs> Sorry. Son of a. All right, Dustin likes the couch. <laughs> hey, if there is a couch, I'll sleep oh, on it. That's a snuggle. <laughs> snuggle <laughs> only. <laughs> Company rules. <laughs> you have to <laughs> snuggle. <laughs> Are you okay with that, Dustin? I get. It. I'm kind of. <laughs> <nice. laughs> <laughs> Uh, on camera and everything. Oh, sorry, yo, it he's like, like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, yep. No hesitation. He didn't hesitate. Did you? <laughs> he was like, dude, yep. <laughs> like, with the Patrick, you made eye contact to him. <laughs> hey, I was like, I get it. He's all. Oh, man, dude. Oh, no, no. Sounds like you're in for a treat. <laughs> Does the bathroom have a lock on it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to sleep in there. <laughs> You think plenty of naps, bro. You don't even gotta sleep tonight. <laughs> uh. Alright guys. Wow. Just had some wonderful Texas steak out here at Logan's Roadhouse. It was delicious. Really good. Really good. Cool, yep. Everyone's kinda full now, so everyone's a little tired. David did a the whole trip over here. Would not let any of us drive. <laughs> um, wouldn't let me sleep either. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired, dude. I've been up since 6 o'clock. This, this guy's the co-pilot and he's falling asleep over there, not even watching the road. He took at least six steps. But yeah, guys, we're finally here. Uh, we're just going to go make it to our hotel room for the night. Uh, this truck is about ready to officially claim Jill as the rightful owner. We're excited for her. We're excited to meet her tomorrow. Um, There's going to be a lot of emotions for her maybe a little bit for us just because we will miss that beautiful truck we love the wrap i mean that look at this wrap man looks so good looks, looks so, good. so good shiny it's classy it's clean uh, oh what do you guys think should we do another truck like this in the same color a minty fresh one minty fresh go and drop a comment right now say yes yes or no okay if we don't get enough yeses we won't do it <laughs> we still might because we like it yeah we like it <laughs> so i'm sure a lot of you guys like it too um but yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow morning we finally made it out here gonna get a little bit of rest and uh tomorrow we'll meet jill and uh hear a little bit of her story of what she's uh of her story i don't know much of it so yeah we don't <laughs> yeah so all right guys see you tomorrow